ahead and get the next match. Let's go in three, two, one, Lego. Today is the Texas Computer Education Association Robotics Competition. This is the state competition. The teams have gone through 20, 25 or so regional competitions, and the best of the best are here today. The kids are so excited and their determination. It's really fun to watch. It's just an honor to be here in state competition. It's amazing. We thought we might make it past regionals, but to make it to state, that's really cool. We've seen some really great projects. I love the way they're starting to use the newer technology. As you can see, it cleans all four sides of the vent at once. We've seen some fantastic presentations. They're coming up with their own builds for robotics projects and marketing strategies. Some of them have animations, brochures. It's an all-encompassing program. It teaches computer skills, math skills. There's a lot of measurements you have to take. You have to not only program and build a robot, but you have to also come up with an idea for an invention. I came up with this idea because my grandma's handicapped and it's hard to get her mail, so I built this to get her mail. You have to market it, you have to present it, so that gives you lots of experience in front of real judges. These are skills that are critical for them to be successful not only in these types of competitions, but in, in school and in post-secondary education and in life in general. You learn about a lot about business because, I mean, you're practically selling it to the judges. For anybody who's wanting to get into engineering or architecture, there's a whole slew of things that you can do once you're in this competition. You could learn programming. You could learn how to build certain things that help people. It is designed to check for blood if someone has a cut. Check your temperature. I am planning on being an engineer. I will definitely take this experience with me no matter where I go. The Texas Computer Education Association putting on a robotics competition like this really opens it up for anybody who wants to get involved. All schools should come because it's an excellent way to practice those skills that you're going to need for the 21st century. The kids love this program. My first year I had 12 kids. This year I had 40 kids. We're really excited and we're trying to get more programs started with TCEA. Next year our high school is actually going to start competing at the TCEA level. Our kids are elementary, so they've actually been able to further their education. Any questions they had in programming their robots, they were able to contact TCEA at any time. And TCEA was good about responding immediately. It allows kids to really get creative with what they do and show what they're capable of. I know there's some schools out there who don't offer these kind of things, and this is a really great way for kids to get involved. The schools that are not involved in TCA at this point really need to come and visit and watch some of this because that way they could get an idea of what their kids could be doing. We'll be talking about the program. Yeah, we have more than one. Yeah, we have more than one. What are you waiting for? If you're not involved in, tech, in the TCEA competition, get involved. This is the best way, the cheapest way, the easiest way to get somebody involved in computers and robotics and, and Lego Mindstorms. There's no excuse for not getting in.